previously. And now we continue. Hey, Fanta Fiends! Hey, welcome back to my Persona 5 Strikers! Alright, in the last part, we actually took down our first monarch, Alice. And we made her have a change of heart, realizing that her ways were evil. And now, we gotta talk to Shujiro and head over to the next city to find out our next monarch. Now, don't forget to click the button. I'm not going to get a side to get notified. Let's go check out our wheels. Ooh. Ooh. Give us something good. Hey Shujiro, uh, before I go, I believe... Okay, I think it was Ryuji that... Wait, you wanna talk to me? Uh... We did it! Sure! Yeah, honestly, Ryuji is absolutely a yeah, fucking obsessed go. with Robin. Yeah, he's absolutely obsessed with it. That's what I'm talking about! Uh... Yeah, bring, this bring me back. It really does. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey! On me. Oh fuck! Awesome. <laughs> fucking shitty ass computer! I fucking swear! Oh sweet fuckery, damn! Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't think I can eat all that. Okay. Oh no! Oh, I can't no more. Uh, oh. you my stomach feels like it's about to burst. Are you guys done with your shenanigans? Ugh. Ugh, yeah, that was nothing. But yeah, hey, don't go overboard with it, okay? Whoa. Thank you. I learned a lot from that. That's good to hear. Uh. I need to lie down. Think they have any hammocks here? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that was, uh... I was something all right. Oh, I definitely gained weight after that. Oh man, he's on the road, or else it'll all come back up. All right, so I guess now we talk to Shujiro. Shujiro, what up? Hey, hey, all about to roll out? Yeah, see you later. All right, well, here, take this with you. Hope it does some good on your trip. Make sure everyone gets enough, all right? Well, time for me to pick up your ride. I'll be right back. You get everyone a call, have me meet you here. You sure you kid's gonna be okay on your own? We'll be fine. I mean, probably. Take care, boss. Uh, same to you. Be careful out there. Thanks. Bye. Yeah. Summer vacation. Here we come. Yeah, quote unquote summer vacation. Mm. Hm. 
You look unusually serious, Inspector Hasegawa. Oh, Commissioner Kaburaki. My apologies. I've been short on sleep. I've not been on an undercover case in quite some time. I wholly understand. Have you liaised with the Phantom Thieves? Affirmative. I've gained their cooperation. However, proceedings are touch and go. Some of them are also very quick on the uptake. Nevertheless, I guarantee you that I will win them over. Understood. As expected from someone so dependable. Well, I still owe you for taking me under your wing. I'm happy to do whatever you require. Keep at it until you get to the bottom of this case. But do not get too attached to them. At this point, their arrest is an inevitability. Attached? I haven't been attached to anything in a long time. So you say. And how's the girl? Go home. At least every so often. Understood? Ma'am. No way she's buying anything about that world. I've got to wring a lead out of them. Don't take it personally, Phantom Thieves. All I want is for this case to be solved. And I'll use you however I have to. Uh, I know he's going to become good somewhere. I know he's literally going to become good or, or something. He's not just gonna be evil. Like it's not just he's gonna be Yo, evil. Yo, like, where no are we reason. now? Looks like we're coming up on Tochigi Prefecture. We've come a pretty long way. Tochigi. Tochigi is famous for the Niko Toshogu Shrine, dedicated to Tokugawa Ieyasu. I heard the monkey sculptures there are adorable. I wonder if we'll get to see them. Ooh, I want strawberries. <gasps> Let's go strawberry picking. Apparently, Gyoza's pretty big there, too. Otsonomi is supposed to be the place for it. You say Gyoza? Oh, hell yeah. We're gonna get some, right? Uh, <laughs> the dried corn is famous, too. Of all the things to get excited about, <laughs> it's understandable. We could all use some time to unwind every now and then. And besides, we've already discussed it. We could just go straight to Hokkaido, but we decided it would be more worthwhile to check out a variety of places rather than just one. And there might be jails in other cities besides Shibuya and Sapporo. Not only that, but the supposed monarch Sapporo won't even be in town till the 8th. We have the time. There's no reason we shouldn't make use of it. <sighs> You're right. Let's take our time. We should pace ourselves. Uh, I guess you have a point. Wait, say we find a jail before then. Does that mean we're sort of hunting for monarchs along the way? Oh, we're taking the Phantom Thieves to a whole new level. This is starting to feel real badass. Well, if there is a jail, I'm sure Sophia will let us know. Leave that to me. I should be able to handle it. I think. You'd think the AI would be a little more sure of herself. Yeah, seriously, who or what are you? I'm humanity's companion. There she goes singing again. <laughs> Don't think too hard about it. I'm sure we'll learn more if she sticks around. Isn't that right, Sophia? That's right, Mon. Oh, that reminds me, Mako-chan. You've been driving this whole time. Are you doing okay? I have my license too, so I can always drive if you want. Well, you just got yours, Haru, so I'll try to handle as much of the driving as I can. Does anyone else have their license? I don't. Apologies, I do not. Me neither. I want to get mine soon, though. Do you have one? Uh, sorry. Well, I guess we did just reach driving age. Sorry, Mako-chan. Don't push yourself too hard, okay? I won't. Although we might be taking more breaks. I wouldn't want to put any of us at risk. That's fine by me. We want our Makoto to stay nice and well-rested. So you're going to keep driving, Makoto? I think so, for the time being. That sounds difficult. Is there anything I can do to help? Well, since you've asked, do you think you could find a place to stop and rest? I could probably use a break. We can have lunch there, too. Okay, I'd be happy to. There's a riverbank up ahead that should be perfect. Lunch by a river, huh? Oh, man, this is feeling like a real road trip. I know, right? I always want to go on a road trip Yo, like this. Oh, this spot is perfect. Oh, another beach scene? Is this even real? I've only ever seen this kind of place online. Seriously. Oh, and this is the perfect weather for cooking outdoors, too. Oh, we have another Shall beach we get scene. Started, then? 
boss gave us some ingredients, didn't he? <laughs> oh, this is going to be so nice. Cooking lunch with everyone. And I was like, oh, so that I can cook food! Oh! We'll leave the main course to you. I can actually make food now. Cooking. Oh, okay. Alright, so, alright, so no more sh- Okay. Really, curry? I mean, like, I mean, curry's good, but how much curry can these people actually eat? Like, but that's like the only thing that people ever it's eat is curry. Great. I think we have a winner. Looks pretty good. LeBlanc curry. I know that smell. That's soji rose curry, no doubt. All oh, my stomach, I need. The rice has been prepared. We're ready whenever. Awesome, like how much curry can these people actually eat? It's so good. Oh, I could eat this forever. You probably could. Indeed. And to be surrounded by nature in all its splendor makes it taste that much better. Is there more? <laughs> Sorry, Nari. The great phantom thief Utaba just swiped the very last plate. Last? Fate is cruel. Oh, come on. Don't act so depressed. It's not like it's the end of the world. <laughs> I'll make it again, don't worry. You will. Please do. What? what how how uh, good is this curry? Is I need killer. to know exactly mm -hmm. how good is this I'm curry. Cool too. How about I pour us some tea and we can all just relax? I'm down. Ooh, why don't we roast marshmallows later on too? Jeez, you seriously still thinking about food? What of it? There's always room for sweets. All right, we'll finish our break with some tea and sweets, then get going. I, I, I honestly, for a, I really want another recipe for this curry. Cause they, like, literally, in the first persona, in the, in the original persona of Fire Royal, and it, like, I'm sure in this, they're gonna be talking and eating about the curry every five fucking seconds. I feel like we've been on the road for a while. Where are we now? We'll be entering Sendai soon. We made a lot of stops, but no sign of any jails, huh? Well, I'm definitely feeling a little more relaxed now. I wouldn't want those things popping up everywhere. Also, it's getting kind of dark. How about we call it a day? Yes, we should decide where we want to stay for tonight. Shouldn't we eat first? Uh, what's good in Sendai? As far as local delicacies go, there's always beef tongue. There's plenty of specialty shops around. Nonsense. Delicious as that sounds, we must go to Mount Aoba Park and see the remains of Sendai Castle. They house a statue of the late Lord Date Masamune. I'd very much like to see the one-eyed dragon for myself. Um, uh, <laughs> wait, what? Bath first. I'm not sleeping in the camp or all sweaty and sticky. Jeez, we're all over the place on this one. Um, well, what should we do? Hmm. My favorite hitters? This is where I come in. Searching. Overnight parking lots. Beef tongue. Date Masamune. And nearby bathhouses. Leave it to me. I'll find the most efficient route to everything you've suggested. Wow, you can do all that, Sophia? It's nothing special. I'm just doing a wide search and lining up our destinations. We should first head to the parking lot at Mount Alba Park. Then we can walk to the statue of Masu... What's up? The smell. There might be a jail here. Whoa, for real? You can really tell just off that, huh? Are you sure, Sophia? I think so. I can't pinpoint it yet, and that may be because of the distance. But this feels the same as Shibuya. Huh? Well, let's go check it out then. All right then. We're heading to Sendai. We shouldn't be too much longer. Sendai. So I guess Sendai is their second location. So that's where our next monarch is. Well, Sophia, can you smell the jail? Yes, I'm sure of it. There's a jail somewhere in this city. So there really are more jails besides the one in Shibuya? Yeah, no, that's There's what she a said. There's jail and something rotten's going on around town. Yeah, You're right. What. We'll need to look into that first. And how are we supposed to do that? 
Sendai is a pretty big city, after all. We could check some more of the popular sightseeing spots. We might hear something if there's people around. Great thinking. And what's more, we're right here in Mount Aoba Park, home to the statue of Lord Masamune. Dude, you can check out the statue tomorrow! I'm starving! Excuse me? There's no guarantee the statue will still be here come sunrise. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there once is. Once in a lifetime experience. Once you've set a plan, you must act on it without delay. Ah, <sighs> there he goes. I'll never I'm pretty sure the statue much. will still be there. Like, By fuck the it, way, you can't relax. Did you find out if it's okay for us to sleep in the car tonight? Yes, I actually just got confirmation. At least we won't have to worry about finding a place to sleep. And it looks like there are lots of sightseers here, so. We should have plenty of chances to ask around. Should we check out the statue? It's only a short walk from here, right? It's close. Very close. Then let us depart. Lord Masamune awaits. I swear to God, she better have an amazing ass painting after this. I hear the next city, Sendai. What rot is going on around here? Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm gonna check out this statue. So what, so if I had to guess, I guarantee you whatever's going on around in the jail is connected to the statue. Or at least the late Masumune. Cause like, cause like Yusuke really, like they're pushing it a little bit too hard on the whole statue and all that. Something's gotta be related to it. They're pushing that statue a little bit too hard. This is that Masamune statue Inari was going on and on about. It looks so cool. I bet he'd be cutting down shadows left and right if he were in a jail with us. Such remarkable craftsmanship. It's truly the one-eyed dragon in all his glory. <sighs> How majestic. I'm gonna cry. Indeed. I should have expected oh, as much from such an icon. We must come back during the day and... Hmm? all this about prince of nightmares volume one 20th reissue celebration reissue celebration so they're promoting a book i doubt they got permission to do this maybe it's some kind of prank what a reprehensible miscreant putting up such tasteless flyers for their own gain let's take them down not sure why not <sighs> that's better well, you happy, Yusuke? Yes. Now that I've seen the great Masamune, my apologies for taking so much of everyone's time. Let's move on. All right, that's one item off the list. Next up, Beef Tongue City. <laughs> what even is Beef Tongue? Let's see if these local flavors are enough to impress a sophisticated palate like mine. Oh, sorry. It might be hard to get in if we bring a catalog. What? Oh, oops. Well, <laughs> Sendai, a great Goyetek restaurant. Mm. Holy shit, is this for real? Mm. This meat was so thick, so soft. Damn, that's good. Ryuji, cut it out. You're spitting all over me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think he's face crying over here. I don't even want to know what his regular diet is like if this is enough to make him cry. Either way, food's delicious. Hey, let me have some too. I swear, you are the noisiest cat on the planet. Ask him to split some with you. <laughs> Not happen. You heard the dude? Too bad. Just gotta make do with the smell. Damn, you're a don't dick, Ryuji. Such a pig. I'm hungry too, you know. Not so loud, you idiot! Is that a cat I hear? Oh boy. Oh shit! Am I hearing things? I could have sworn I heard a cat. Oh, uh, nope. Not a real cat, at least. Uh, but we were just practicing our cat sounds. <laughs> right, Ryuji? Uh... Meow? It's a work in progress. Oh, come on. You're not fooling anyone. Sounds to me like he's in the bag of the gentleman with the glasses. Oh, fuck. Oh, that's sweet. Are you going to share? 
You and your cat should partake in the finest beef tongue this restaurant has to offer. What? Jay, you're not so loud. Oops, sorry, sorry. You're right. If you get thrown out, then no more beef tongue. By the way, is this your first time having Sendai beef tongue? I should tell you, the oxtail soup's to die for. Did you know oxtail soup is packed with collagen? A lot of people seem to think it's good for your skin. They say it's not as effective when ingested, but there's a fair number of reports that suggest otherwise. Human cognition can be quite misleading. You may uh, think you feel a change when none has occurred. Bitch, shut up. Back to... No, dude, she's just going on and on. Does she even notice us talking right now? This overwhelming onslaught of pointless info. We got ourselves a nerd, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, sorry about... You know, the bag thing. Huh? What? Oh, you mean the cat? Don't worry. I won't tell the staff or anything. By the way, are you all students? Um, uh, we're in college. Hmm, I could see a couple of you being in college, but not you. You've still got an air of innocence about you. The fuck? You'll be taking your entrance exam soon, right? The fuck is not doing anything? Are you where you're going to apply yet? Oh, forgive me. I haven't even introduced myself. I'm Kuani Chinose. I work as a researcher over at Toho University. Hey, you guys should come check out the campus. It's way up in the mountains, but it's a lot of fun. Lots of bears this season, too. The bears? Oh, uh, you know, we kind of got something going on already, so we don't exactly got the time. See, I see. Yes, well, it's important that you do what you want while you're still young. Allow me to impart a little treat till next we meet. Oh, I got uh, candy. Sure. Well then, hey. I've had my fill of beef tongue, so it's probably best if I get going. Farewell, young ones. So, uh, she was weirdly energetic, huh? Well, thankfully, we avoided getting in trouble. We should be grateful she didn't tell on us. Sorry, that was my fault. Ah, uh, I got carried away too. Sorry, Mona-chan. We'll buy you some sasa kamaboko later. You mean the fish cake on the skewers with that nice layer of jar on top? Oh, I can't wait! Nice! <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, his latest work was just perfect. I was at home reading it. Two nights in a row, if you can believe that. Speaking of which, I read in a magazine interview that he's going to be at the station today. Oh, there's no way I'm missing that. All right, let's finish eating. And quietly this time. Yes, ma'am. Watch, watch. But at the same time, you really don't want to fucking mess with Makoto. Makoto's that, like, one, like, character you do not want to fuck with. I'm stuffed. How you can eat five bowls of rice is beyond me. Is your stomach a black hole or something? Yeah. Look, if they're offering free refills, then you can bet I'm ordering them. Indeed. You can eat the first bowl and focus exclusively on the glistening of the meat. Then the aroma on the next, and so on. Pretty sure that's just you. Well, I will say the food here certainly is delicious. Yeah. <laughs> Good job, Sophia. It was, as they say, a piece of cake. Guess we should leave where we eat up to Sophia now, huh? Hmm? What's going on over there? Natsume-san! Your lady says she was just amazing in the whole place! Natsume-san! Over here! Can you please sign my copy? <laughs> Thank you for all your support. Whoa, hold on now. Only one autograph per person, please. Yep, that's oh, definitely our monarch. apologies, but could the men please go to the back of the line? Ladies first, you see. What the hell's that? He looks pretty popular. I, I heard that woman say latest book. Does that mean he's a writer? Oh, oh, oh. Hello there. Are you looking for an autograph as well? Or perhaps... A handshake? No, I'm looking huh? to kick your ass. Um... Oh, how terribly rude of me to keep such lovely fans waiting. Please, accept this as a token of my apology, yes? 
Don't worry, I've already signed it. Um, okay. Listen, uh, we were just passing by. Ah, uh, is that so? It seems I got a little ahead of myself. Prince of Nightmares by Ango Natsume. Yours truly, Ango Natsume. It's a pleasure. Prince of Nightmares. That's the name from those flyers on the Masamune statue. Why, flyers on Masamune statue? Ah, I think I know what happened. That's most likely the work of some of my more zealous fans. I appreciate them promoting my work, but it appears they went overboard somewhat. Honestly, they can be a real handful sometimes. Allow me to apologize on their behalf. In exchange, allow me to offer you a kiss. The Yo, fuck, fuck bitch! Off, dude. Can't you see you're making her uncomfortable? Um, seriously, back the fuck up before I kick your ass. And who are you supposed to be? The guy I believe your ass. I was addressing these lovely young ladies here. I thank you not to interrupt. Mm, sorry, but they're with us. Got a problem? You can always talk to me. <laughs> Do you seriously think you can get away with speaking to me like that? Yes. Uh... Try me, bitch. <laughs> try me, bitch. <laughs> My, this one's got some backbone, doesn't he? Mr. Natsume, we need to get moving soon. <laughs> well then, it seems I must be going. Yeah, you I've do that. I have a magazine interview to get to. Yeah, to all that, those buddy. who have read my book, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Natsume! I love you! Oh, he's just so dreamy. I'll have to buy ten more copies tomorrow to show him just how much I care. Who was that man? I don't know if he was some local big shot or whatever, but he sure was pissing me off. He was a strange one for sure. But the people around him seemed really happy. Why was that? Probably because they're a bunch of weirdos. I must agree. It wasn't at all deserving of such praise, even in the form of flattery. Are you alright, Haru? Mm-hmm. I was just a little surprised, is all. How'd a jerk like him get so popular? It doesn't make any sense. Hmm. There might be something else going on here. He could even be changing people's hearts. You mean, he's the monarch of the Sendai Jail? Yeah, it's like just it. one possibility. No, I, I think you might be onto something. If he's the monarch, then everything else totally makes sense. Uh, we need to look into this. Huh, I got my laptop back at the RV. Should be able to dig something up from there. Hmm. Huh, investigation time again. Investigation time. How to find out what the fuck's really going on. Show these people heart. I, 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 I guess, if we're going off based on Alice, I guess pretty much um, his book really is actually kind of shit. So he changed people hearts to make people believe that his book is amazing or something like that. All right, let's go over what we know so far. Sophia, you can confirm there's a jail here, correct? The smell got a lot stronger once we entered the city. So yes, I'm sure of it. And the man we met earlier, his name was Ango Natsume? I just did a quick search on him. Here's what came up. Ango Natsume, grandson to renowned writer Sogo Natsume. Currently a successful light novel author. Says the guy kicked off his career with his debut work, Prince of Nightmares, which won the grand prize in the Sokaisha Awards. This thing's selling stupidly well. It sold a million copies alone. A million? That's kind of nuts, right? Um, the bestseller. Yeah, for someone's debut to hit numbers like that is nothing short of a miracle. I checked social media, and, well, this whole thing is kind of bizarre. Natsume's fans are probably going on some kind of rampage, right? There's a rumor that some people got beat within an inch of their lives just because they were sort of dressed like Natsume's characters. Right. The worst part is that no one stepped in to stop them. In fact, the attackers were praised for what they did. Yeah, it's definitely the heart. same kinds of people who defile Masamune's statue with flyers. 
They clearly lack self-restraint. The fans at the station seemed really passionate, too. It was almost like they were part of a cult. I'm checking some of the online forums. It looks like there's about a hundred threads created about this dude almost every day. And they're all positive. Not only that, but all of these IP addresses are from Sendai. That's crazy suspicious. This is definitely our guy then, right? Definitely. What, what do you mean? All literally, a person can't That's be true. that good that all this shit happened. He's definitely the monarch. Abilities as a writer yet. If he really is just some freakishly talented writer, then the jail here has nothing to do with him. No. And he earned all that praise, right? No, no, who, what? There's still a chance he's our monarch too, ain't there? That's what we're I don't care find how good a book is. Tomorrow, we'll beating the town, shit out of someone because they look a little the like monarch, their characters and then being praised we'll for it. That's a tough shit. Just like in Shibuya. Oh, yeah. We should probably let Inspector Gramps know, too, huh? Good idea. He might be able to give us some other clues, too. Okay. Well, I guess we should all probably hit the hay. We've got a busy day tomorrow. I, yeah, he's definitely the monarch. It's like saying, I'm gonna beat so... the shit out of people who look like Harry Potter because Harry Potter books are amazing. Hell are we sleeping up top? Might as well be sleeping outside. Ain't it gonna be cramped? There's nothing we can do. There isn't enough room in the car. Besides, it's not as bad as you say. Back when there were more students at the Atelier, it was quite normal for us to sleep huddled together due to lack of space. Man, you always keep cool in the weirdest possible way. Yeah. Right? Come on, guys, are we really just gonna call it a night? Yeah. Shouldn't we, like, all be playing cards till super late or stargazing or something? Nah. Isn't that the kind of shit we're supposed to do on a big trip like this? Sleep is fun! <laughs> sleep is fun! Hooray, sleep! sleep. Forget it, Ryuji. We're up early tomorrow anyway, so you'd better get some rest. Man, it's gonna be hot as hell with three of us and Morgana, ain't it? Very true. That fur certainly won't help things either. Oh, what do you want from me? I can't help that I'm a cat. Not that I'm actually a cat, though. Guys, shut up. Shit. Sorry. Yeah. Guys, shut up. Oh, gosh, really? Oh, you fucking kid. Oh, I don't want to hear this. Gosh, you snore. I'm wrong. Not like that. Like this. This. And you're a sleep talker, too. Okay. I am going to go and fucking burn my ears off. I'm going to go burn my ears off. I hope that's okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go burn what little ears I have off. Just, just singe them all off. I don't need them. I really don't need them. Just singe them all off. Just bye bye, GG. Awesome! Alright, Sunday Station. Scrub some leads on that smug Aww. bastard. Sheesh, take it down, Nuts, dude. You're bouncier than a grade schooler on summer vacation. Are you alright, Futaba? You're not a morning person, are you? I didn't sleep much last night. I can't get comfy with my usual pillow. Mm. Well, it was our first time sleeping in the RV, so I suppose no surprise. You'll get used to it over time, I'm sure. The Sigma Station really is busy for the weekend. Maybe because everyone's out from school. Hmm. The shopping arcade is only a short walk away, and the what well, the the, the Tadababa Festival decorations are apparently a popular attraction for sightseers. Oh, I see. Sunday's Ah, uh, the, the fuck I, ugh, I got practice voice acting. It seems there are plenty of shops to draw a crowd. Perhaps we should try asking around for there. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do the same with Alice. Let's meet up again once we found something. So pretty much find dirt on this bitch. Investigation. Begin investigation. All right. See what you can tell on this idiot. Gather rumors on Ago Nasume. I'm telling you, he really is. He really is evil. Oh no! Um, I know Asune sucks. Why didn't someone come beat the shit out of me and find out? Fuck around and find out. Anything? Any rumors? What about you? Uh, yeah, nah. 
Chocolate banana sim. What's up, dude? Oh, hold up. Hold up. Not here. Not here for foods. Oh, I'm on. That's a good woman. Oh, you all know about Agno Natsume. You and the rest of society. I was talking about him lately. It makes me sick. But I just pricks like that always hiding something. I heard Biff's the good lately thanks to the gift merch. Only 2% really. Oh, I'll take that. <laughs> oh, you scared? Something is amiss. How about female customers, huh? So he's luring the lady. No, he's kind of a ladies' man. <laughs> What'll it be? Uh, nah, I'll do shopping later. Right now, I gotta find out. Nice. Yeah, same thing. So apparently, people will also leave, like, quit their job, leave their job, or just straight up just, like, say, all right, I'm, all right, I'm leaving for the day, just Thank so you. they can pick up more copies of the book. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, what's happening here? Plagiarizing as well. Oh, so so he's plagiarizing other people's work and publishing it as own and getting famous off it. So he's, wait, so he's pretty much doing Manorame then. Then this is pretty much a recap of Manorame. So Manorame did the same thing where he stole people's work and published it as his own and then discarded them like. So it's pretty much the same way as fucking Monroe. Okay. I'm a little disappointed that they're going that route, but uh, let's, let's, let's find out. Let's, let's truly find out. Okay, guys. So. That it? Can we still got like, one more to go? I guess. We have 25%, so we have one more to go. Um, hello? Anybody want to talk to me about Agno? Hello? Oh, talk to me, people. Talk to Oh, the bookstore. Hmm? Huh? What did you say? I'm doing a book signing. Really? So they're all here for a book signing. All right. Investigation complete. So he's pretty much a monorame. He is pretty much all doing right. a monorame. Yeah. Leave it to me. Yeah, let's get everyone together, because we pretty... Yeah, I guarantee you, he's, he's Manorame. He's doing the exact same thing Manorame does. That smug bastard's being promoted all over the place. Like I'm going insane. That's quite a crowd for a book signing. Oh, there's so many people. I think I'm going to throw up. Is he going to give out his keyword for Emma and change everyone's hearts like Alice did? We should keep an eye on him for now. Um, Natsume-san? I just wanted to say thank you for putting out such wonderful work all the time. I was so touched by your book. I ended up buying 50 copies. Yeah, well, I bought a hundred. Some to read, some to collect, some to give out, and some to... My goodness! Thank you. I'm flattered. Reading your book somehow gives me hope. Courage to keep going. I won't rest until each and every one of my friends knows about your book. Well, I have said that I want my book to reach as many people as possible. I can't help but feel guilty, though. Be sure you don't overdo it. No, it's okay. I'm helping you because I want to. I heard the reason he started writing novels was for this poor girl who's bedridden in the hospital. Supposedly, he wanted her to keep fighting so she could one day see him finish his novel. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. It's just so compassionate. It's 
like he's a saint. I know, that story alone's enough to make me cry. I guess even real life is like a novel sometimes. We have to tell the whole world about Ango Natsume's good deeds. I'd expected as much, but he's really popular. Do you think that bit about the girl in the hospital is for real? Dude didn't seem like the type, if you ask me. I don't think Natsume said anything resembling a keyword. Could it be because he really isn't a monarch? Or perhaps he's just being careful. If he is the monarch, maybe everyone here's already had their hearts changed. Meaning he wouldn't need to give out his keyword. Hey, Nari. What's that you've been reading? Ango Natsume's novel, Prince of Nightmares. Inari? You actually bought that thing? Yeah. Are you a fan? Not at the moment, no. I simply wanted to check whether the content of the book was truly deserving of the fervent praise it's received. Well, how is it? Is it good? It's trash! How should I put it? For any creative work, one should be able to feel some sense of its creator's passion. No matter how crude or unrefined the work may be, there should always be some sort of spark present to those engaging with it. I'm not terribly well versed in the literary arts, but I feel nothing when reading this book. The sentences are formed well enough, but what's here is shockingly hollow. It's as if these words have been taken from someone else and given the most bare minimum coat of paint possible. Let me see. Oh, wow. This line here is lifted from an anime from two years ago. Uh, the words got changed a bit, but that's definitely it. Sneaky. I think I've seen this one before, too. And this one. Sheesh. This one, too. Wait. Is this whole book just a bunch of stuff he ripped off and strung together? If Pretty the much. original writers, or worse, their fans, ever saw this, there'd be a freaking riot online. I can't possibly fathom how such a fraudulent piece of work garnered this much praise. That is, unless the fans had their desires stolen. Yep. The power to change hearts, all right. With all that we know now, it's safe to say there's definitely something going on here. If only we knew the keyword, we can investigate the jail for ourselves. Think we should ask some of his fans? They've all had their desires taken, right? If this is anything like the situation in Shibuya, I doubt they'll tell us anything. Guess we're kind of stuck then. Have we heard anything from Gramps yet? He said he'd be here by tonight. Maybe he learned something. All right then. I guess we should go ahead and wait for Inspector Hasegawa then. Hold on. Why do you think Natsume wrote this novel? For fame. Look at all the fancy guys. Definitely for fame. No. Somehow I don't believe that's the case. No matter how much praise your work receives, if it was built on the backs of others, then you cannot truly call that praise your own. Those compliments will surely ring empty. Anyone in the arts should know this. That is why I don't understand. What was he thinking when he wrote this novel? What are you two doing? Let's get going. Uh, my apologies. It wasn't my intention to hold you up. Let's be off. Pretty nice ride you've got here. And I gotta say, I didn't expect Sendai to be on the agenda. How'd you know there was a jail here? Well, about that... I smelled it. Hmm... You smelled it? Anyways... Have you learned anything new? Ah, yes. Ango Natsume, right? Yeah, he's suspicious all right. His book's been selling like crazy, but only here in Sendai. Most of the other stuff I've heard lines up with what you guys told me. Anyhow, I did some asking around, and here's what I found. Apparently, everyone in Atsume's little fan club becomes friends with him through Emma. And once that happens, they start buying his book any and every chance they get. Some even go into debt because of it. Any of this sound familiar? It 
It's just like what happened with Alice. He might have different methods from Alice Hiragi, but I'm almost certain Natsume is using the same power. In that case, we really need to get our hands on his keyword. Can't we just nab the shithead and make him cough it up? Ugh, do that? And I would have to arrest you for assault. You can ramble on about the jails all you want. Best case scenario is you getting dragged off to a mental institution. Ah, right. Well, we're phantom thieves, so going at it directly is not preferred anyway. Ah, oh, there goes Beauty Thief. Always trying to be elegant and subtle and stuff. Beauty what? Beauty Thief. <laughs> you know, Beauty Thief. My name is Beauty Thief. I see. She's really calling herself that? Yes. Getting <laughs> back on track. <laughs> She's really calling herself that? What the fuck? That's where I come in. You better thank me for this later. Uh, or what? Sure. Natsume's holding a party tonight in celebration of Prince of Nightmares passing over a million in sales. And I just happen to have enough invitations for all of you. Oh. Which means... You owe me. You're crashing a party? Hey, that sounds fun as hell, don't you think? Yeah, sure. That chance. Right. And if it's invite only, there's a chance security will be light as well. So, what do you think? Still could be heavy. Glad we struck a deal. You did pretty good, Gramps. Yeah, nice one, Gramps. I must admit, I'm seeing you in a whole new light, Gramps. Yeah, you really came through, Gramps. I knew we could count on you, Gramps, son. Come on, guys. At least call me by my name. Don't feel bad, Gramps. Thank you all very much for coming today. This is just a small token of my appreciation. Nevertheless, I hope you enjoy yourselves. Congratulations, Mr. Natsume. Truly. It's all thanks to everyone working so hard to push sales. All I did was right. <laughs> oh, you're too modest. It really is impressive how well you've done, considering the amount of competition there is these days. But I know we tried to promote you early on as the grandson of renowned writer Sogo Natsume, but uh, I, I never would have expected you to perform this well. <laughs> the praise you've received is due entirely to your talent, Mr. Natsume. You're a shining star to readers and authors alike. My talent, you say? <laughs> well now, I wouldn't go as far as to say that. The words on the page matter little. If there's something worth talking about, the people will always flock to it. From there, all one needs to do is craft a little story into it. And voila! For example, take that origin story about how I started writing because of some poor girl in the hospital. Pardon my asking, but is that story really true, Mr. Natsume? <laughs> I'm afraid that's my little secret. Truth, fiction. Does anyone really care? You might recall Ichiryu Saimadarame's confession on TV not too long ago. Surely you remember. His signature piece. What was the name of it? Oh, do you mean the Sayuri? Ah, yes, that's it. The Sayuri. That piece was certainly lauded as the pinnacle of beauty at the time. But if you ask me, the only place it belongs now is the trash. <laughs> Dick! The trash? How rude! He has no idea what was put into that painting. Who does he think he is? <sighs> Yusuke, I know how you feel, but... I'm alright. I have a favor to ask. Would you mind if I handled this one? I promise I'll get the keyword for him. But... There's a good chance he remembers your faces from the other day. However, I was toward the back of the crowd, so there's a good chance he won't recognize me. We leave it to you. Do it, Yusuke. Yusuke might be our best bet here. Good luck. Oh my gosh. Oh, I gotta... Thank you. Ugh. I'll be off then. I gotta eat something. Pardon me for interrupting. I happen to be a big fan of yours, Natsume-san. Hmm? Hmm? Uh, who are you? Forgive me. I was hoping I might trouble you for an autograph. Hey, Mr. Natsume is a busy man. You can trouble him later. <laughs> Come now. I'm sure one autograph won't hurt. Oh, you mean it? 
My thanks, Natsume-san. You're too kind. Ooh, I got style. To receive an autograph from the great Ongo Natsume himself. This honor is truly more than I deserve. Nonsense. Don't sell yourself short. It's readers like you who allow authors like me to keep writing. Eh, what do you say, Dick? That's a wonderful way to look at it. Oh, right. Do you by any chance use Emma, Natsume-san? Of course. With how convenient it is, how could I not? If you don't mind, could you please add me to your friends list? It would be a privilege to be closer to one I respect so greatly. <laughs> not at all. My fans and readers mean the world to me. The key word is Prince of Nightmares. Thank you very much. Expect a request from me sometime soon. Now, there is one more thing. I overheard you and your entourage mention the Sayuri earlier. If I'm not mistaken, you said it should be thrown out with the trash. As though it were some cheap attempt. Ah, so you heard that, did you? Is that what I said? Well, I take it someone of your taste agrees with me. In the end, that painting only held value because of whose name was attached to it. Madarame had it. The Sayori was painted by my mother. <laughs> this may be unprofessional of me, but professionalism be damned. My mother painted the Sayori at the cost of her own life. It is her final masterpiece. That painting was crafted with a love that simply cannot be found anywhere else. Don't you dare lump it in with that soulless drivel you've cobbled together from authors far more talented than you. <laughs> D hey, you can't! I merely spoke the truth. Now, you'll excuse me. We've got what we came for. Let's head outside, yes? He know. Yeah, it, it, it's all right, Mr. Natsume. He's just uh, looking to blame you for something because he's jealous of your genius. Don't let him get to you. Shut up! Uh. <laughs> no matter. He'll come around just like the rest. Uh, I highly doubt that, bitch. My apologies. I couldn't hold myself back. That's cool. I suppose I still have much to learn. No, 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 you Don't did. sweat it. Everything worked out. We got the keyword, so we're all good. Yeah, you did great. I was actually pretty impressed with how you stood up to him. Well, I can't say my assessment of his book was entirely correct. Whatever someone feels from a work of art, no matter what that work may be, ultimately comes down to the individual. Yeah, well, for what it's worth, we all loved seeing you stick it to that creepy Nari. In any case, we've got the keyword now. All that's left is to find our entry point. Sendai Station would be a good place to look. Hmm? How come? The smell isn't as strong there. The security's probably more lax. The station should be a safe point of entry, just like in Shibuya. So I guess we're doing it then. Yeah, we've got everything we need. Tomorrow, that jail's getting a visit from the Phantom Thieves. Oh yeah. There's something I wanted to ask you. Yusuke might have been acting calm just now. But he seemed rather sad. Why was that? Well, he probably felt insulted. Oh, I see. So when someone disrespects something important to you, it makes you more sad than angry. Yep. Possible. At the very least, Yusuke seemed to feel that way. I yep. think I'm starting to understand him a little better now. Thank oh. you for explaining that to me. You're welcome, Sophia. Da -da -da -da. Oh! Level up! Ah, I've been waiting for you. Oh, you have. The desires in this place have been stolen as well. The voices of countless hearts are stirring about. At the same time, I can feel the threat of the calamity is only growing stronger. 
I have called you here to deliver important news. A sweet. The bonds you have forged will now impart an even greater power to your personas. Let me guess. This new, new power, kind of like It seems upgrading. it was born from a connection you've made during your travels. This will become the sustenance that will further nurture your potential. Cherish it dearly. Uh, I'll do just that. <laughs> so I pretty much can upgrade a lot I more, admit though. I'm somewhat jealous. There is no doubt that they will give you the strength needed to cut through fate. Increase physical damage. Oh, increase damage of physical personas. Increase damage of magical personas. Okay. Increase chance of personas to inflict staff elements. Okay. And increase duration of buffs and debuffs. Oh, okay. May luck be on your side. So pretty much I'm able to like just do more damage from personas. Okay. I can upgrade my bonds to do more damage. I really do miss the confidants. I really honestly miss the confidants. <laughs> I'm so tired. I feel Snap that. out of it, Ryuji. We're about to head in. I know, I know. I was so excited last night I couldn't sleep. What? You think it's Christmas morning or something? Kinda. Any idea how big this place is? Can you tell, Sophia? Based on the smell. I'd say it covers nearly all of Sendai. Oh, shit. It's quite big. Considering what's happening throughout the city, the scale makes sense. But that's all coming to an end. Let's go. Right. We're heading into the Sendai jail. Hey. Hey, you guys have the mobile hideout. Pretty convenient, huh? Alright, so we're gonna do that in the next part, guys. When we come back, we'll be heading over into the Sundown Jail, finding out just exactly how to fuck to kill this monarch. Oh, no, not kill the monarch. Change. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, we gotta do some shopping. Oh, we gotta do some shopping. Alright, uh, can I sell shit? Okay, ooh, alright. So I'm gonna sell shit. Go a little shopping, and then when we come back, we'll be going into the jail of Sendai and taking down the monarch. So don't forget to click the ask button, and then go back to get a sign to notify. We'll see you guys in the next part. Peace out, everybody. Bye bye.